Thank you for joining the World of Warships Legends. This is crazy, man. Today, all I'm going to say is what an awesome update. I mean, seriously. Um, so much to go over. So I'm going to try to do this very quickly, but it might take a little time. Uh, I am definitely going to get these, but not yet. Uh, let's go over here. Special. Pan Europe cruiser premium tier 5 but it's not just that you get you get a commander's crate 100,000 global which is nice 2 exemptions 50 promotion orders 10 days uh, premium and a first three color and I have no clue what that is yet but anyways this is free so let's pick it up Boom. And I am going to be doing a video on that ship. So, that being said, uh, I'm kind of curious what that is. Um, well, let's get out of here first. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, look at all the goodies you get. Okay. You definitely get a lot of goodies. Okay, no doubt about it. Um, yeah. All right. All right, we're going to check out the cat commander yet. But like I said, we got a lot to go over. I might as well go ahead and pick this up right now. I always collect these every day because they never know what you might get. Oh yeah, back in the store. Like I said, I'm going to get the crates for these uh, new cruisers. Uh, yeah. Definitely going to get some. But that's going to be in a different, separate video. Let's go over to this forge for a moment. See if it's up here. And there it is. The Japanese battleship, the Bi Bi Di Dyson? Dyson? Anyway, so let's make the, uh, talk about this ship real quick. Uh, two weeks ago, a bunch of CCs found out this was coming to the system you know come to the game and they were thinking it was gonna be the campaign I almost did another video but if you remember a month ago I did a video about premium tier eights and legendary ships let's talk about I made some comments and later on that night in that video well later on that night I found out they were bringing a, a legendary uh, German destroyer in Okay, but we, this is why I waited to the patch notes, because of that reason, and uh, I don't have enough to buy it yet, I am going to probably, wait a minute, what did it say, a money maker, now I did hurt, 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 that eh, heard, or read about they're doing something with the tier eights premiums where a lot it costs less currency to play them we're gonna find out uh, just not today but anyways let's look at the ship real quick I was got torpedoes all right let's see what, what's this okay interesting now this is no captain built right now no upgrades yet we're just looking at it really fast eh, not too shabby well reloads pretty good okay that looks oh my god look at the uh, secondary 6.8 kilometers you can almost build a secondary uh, belt with this one nifty 
Yeah, I'm kind of curious on this ship. I really am. Torpedoes. 10 kilometers, 67 knots. You get, holy shit, 16. Eight on each side. Um... Oh, you got definitely some AAs. Uh, 84%. Uh, carrier's going to have problems with you. Maneuverability. Well, the turning circle radius sucks. 1,100. Oh, wow. That, that's, that's a major pain. Rudder shift time is 16, but the maximum speed is 35 knots. Um... That's interesting. Uh, concealment is 15.8, but like I said, with the commander belt upgrades, things are going to change and they'll adjust. On uh, the turning circle radius, though, man, that is nasty. Ooh, not good. But overall, the ship looks pretty solid. Yeah, I'll definitely be saving my uh, steel for it. That's for sure. Uh, it might be a, the best premium tier 8 uh, Japanese battleship. Only time will tell. Anyways, uh, but the shocker was... Yes, I am going to do the ammo back. But let's go for this right now. View the ship. I was shocked about this one. And... Not gonna lie, very happy about it. Um, it's something different. Pan Europe battleship. I, I'm not gonna complain. Um, it looks really good. Let's go over the stats real quick. Oh, this got torpedoes too. Okay, let's see here. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Okay. Three. Got something stuck in my throat there. Let's go over here. Hit points. Not. That's not too bad at all. Oh, screwed up. Um, fire range six point five kilometers. I don't know. Reload's pretty good. The damage on the AP shells are for this battleship is not that great. 8,400. I don't know. Like I said, when, once these ships get upgraded and a commander to them, things will just... Um, torpedoes, you get 16, 8 on each side. Holy shit. 86 knots. Um, and there's 16, eight on each side. This is going to be very interesting. Very, very. Those are screaming torps. The Carl jo jo Johan. I, I tell you what, I am looking forward to playing it. I'm not going to lie. Uh, AAs, you got them, 95%. It's not too bad. It's pretty good. Maneuverability. Maximum speed, not too bad on the speed. Turning circles, a little bit better than the other Japanese one. Uh, rudder shift time. Like I said, things can be are going to be adjusted once you add your commander and your uh, upgrades. And you can see them at normal. 
So yeah, uh, anyways, uh, what I'm going to do is go here and uh, we'll purchase Emerald Backing. Yes. And let the games begin. <laughs> so... Oh, got another crate. Um, yeah, like I said, there's so much. And this is only tip of it right now. There's only half. Uh, let's go over here. How's my global doing? I'm almost at uh, 200 mil. Like that. Like it. Let's get these crates. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and jack them all up. One shot. Okay, not too shabby. Uh, I am looking forward to this battleship. I am sorry. That one and the Japanese. So I am going to be focusing on getting my steel. And uh, yes, this is another thing. Well, wrong. I am going to do this and I am going to do a video on this. Definitely. Uh, just curious. Why not? And uh, we'll get to that when the video comes. And plus, I got that video of that new cruiser. Um, and then we got a future video of the crates, which. Now, I understand it by one of the CCs, we're saying we're getting to the end. There's only a little bit more ships they can add. And we pretty much have them all. You know, like country-wise. Uh, but he did say something about the Dutch. He was hoping the Dutch would come in. I don't know anything about the Dutch. I do got a computer. I think what I'm going to do is download the World of Warships on that and see what we don't have and maybe do a little bit more research on it so I have a better knowing what's left out there for that might come to the PlayStation and Xbox but yeah uh, this is amazing I let's go over this first before I cut it now I was checking him out he actually uh, looks very interesting uh, torpedo base. I mean, I'm not going to say nothing bad about it. It looks really interesting. This commander. Um, this is unique right here. And they got this. And they got this. We are going to check one thing, though. We're going to go to the Japanese. Ah. Right there. Here they are. We're going to take a quick look at some of these real quick. Uh, just a fast look. Um, I don't have it yet. And, yes, I know people are not happy about these coming in. Um, well, there's the torpedoes right there. Um, let's see here. More fire spammers, which, okay, I can see that. Um, okay, there's eight, four on each side, 60 knots. This is only a tier four. What is a tier eight going to be like? Well, that's pretty shitty. But with upgrades and stuff like that, a commander, things are going to adjust and change. So, but anyways, like I said, this has been one hell of an awesome update, my opinion. This has been probably one of the best ones 
that we have had in a very long time. And, uh, yeah, I'm excited about the new ship, the pen. Uh, what is it called again? The pen. The pan Europe battleship. And, uh, you know, Carl, Johan, I'm not even going to go try to say his name. I'm very excited about that one. I'm definitely excited about the premium tier 8 uh, Japanese battleship. That actually, believe it or not, looks better than the last two we got. Only time will tell. But anyways, I hope you enjoy this video. And if you do, please smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, and leave comments down below. I think I already said that. I don't know. I'm just excited, overwhelmed by this update. And I'll see you in my next video. Peace out.